Hey guys, welcome back to another video. So I'm completely barefaced and I thought I would do a whole look. So I'm late. I'm not gonna lie to you. Saturday going out to dinner and stuff was just like fun and I looked fire which by the way if you want to check out my Instagram it's a good time over there and you can see how great I looked. I was really really proud of myself. I looked fire but it was cold and snowing and <laughs> Probably not the best outfit for the weather, but that's okay because it was Valentine's Day, basically. But that look I was going to recreate and post yesterday, Sunday, actually Valentine's Day. And I'm not gonna lie, I slept in, I was lazy, taking care of the dogs, eating some ramen, watching anime, playing Overwatch, napping. It was great. The laundry, yeah. So just kind of wanted to enjoy the day and then I'm like, well, crap, I didn't film that video. So here I am filming it late and I'm like, well, what's better than recreating that look instead of just doing the eye, let's do the whole look. So here we are. So I'm not going to prime with the same primer that I used because my all time new favorite primer is this Bobbi Brown. This is the Vitamin Enrich Face Base. First of all, it smells heavenly, but I am using this a ton and I'm afraid to get to use it all the time because this was $62, I think. Don't get me wrong, it's heaven in a bottle or a jar, but it's stupid expensive. So when it comes to filming, Unless I'm going to start doing like favorites videos and stuff like this is going to take a seat on the back burner because this is like stuff I want to wear like out and use so we're not using her today. Instead what I am going to use though is the Maybelline Master Prime. This is in the Hydrate and Smooth. I do really like this. This was my go-to hydrating primer before the face base but and she's getting low like I can feel it being used for sure but this is such a good primer too still moisturizing doesn't like have like a bad like makeup -y smell but it also doesn't smell necessarily like skincare it's just a, a nice moisturizing drugstore primer and my face is always dry so it's great for me so before we get into too much else I do want to go ahead and clip my hair back and out of my face just because I quite enjoy that not having my hair in my face but of course I'm using my Trixie clips I would love these in silver these are like my new favorite clips but and then for my under eyes I use a little bit of the milk this is the watermelon brightening serum I use this under my eyes just because I do have some dark circles. Don't know if it's just me not sleeping well, me being tired, me being stressed. You take a pick. Or my age, because I'm, <laughs> I'm old. But I do quite enjoy this. I have a couple of these little samples still that I've been trying to get through. And then a new favorite that I have, this is the Essence High Beauty with Hemp Seed Oil Moisturizing Under Eye Brightening Concealer. Now this is a very peachy peachy shade and I really really like this because sometimes I feel like even though I am using like a brightening concealer under my eyes I can still see some of the dark circles and what I also really like this for is I will actually dot on any spots that I have because what I will do with this is I almost use it as like a a color corrector basically which with the peach shade I feel like it is a really great like color corrector but I put this on under my foundation just because I'm gonna put like other stuff on top and I just want to just have a tad bit extra because I was going like out with makeup I used my morphe 2 this is hint hint skin tint and hint of pecan First of all, love pecans. Second of all, I really like this because you can either do it like super low coverage, which on camera it looks light, in person it looks a little yellowy for me, but it's actually not bad at all. But yeah, it can either be like super light or you can build it up, which I really like. And I'm pretty sure I did layer it up the other night from what I remember. So I, <laughs> I did actually drink quite a bit Saturday because I hung out with some friends and we had a couple day drinks and then I came home, completely wiped my makeup off from that look that I posted Saturday and then redid my entire face as well as got ready. I haven't straightened my hair, which I was kind of living for. It looked just 
gorgeous. Like I, I thought I looked bomb. So I'm not going to layer this up too much, but I'm going to add a tad bit more coverage on my cheeks because there's some pink still coming through. I'm going to put a little bit more down around my nose and hint more on my chin. But yeah, I really like this because it's, it says it's a medium coverage, but I would say it's a light to medium, which I kind of enjoy because I remember when I first got into makeup, if I was to ever wear makeup out, like it was a medium to full coverage moment and that was it. Like, but that was also back when that's what I saw all over like YouTube and Instagram and that's, you know, what was like in. And so I do, besides quarantine obviously. I do like that more light coverage makeup is in because then that way like A my skin doesn't mind it like my skin reacts better to it so it's nice to do light coverage. So then I take a little bit of my instant age rewind. I love this concealer. Such a good concealer by Maybelline Drugstore. Love it. This is in shade 120 in. Now this one isn't very bright for me personally, but what I will do is I will take this shade and go ahead and put this like on any redness or spots that are still poking through just to add a tad bit more coverage. And then what I will do is I will take just fair, doesn't give me a number on this one, but I like, look at this. I almost never get through any makeup products, but if I'm this low on this, like that's how you know she's good and I really like it. But this one is a little bit lighter for my under eyes. Sometimes if I'm in a mood, I'll put it everywhere. But more times than not, I like to add a concealer that is more my skin tone on a lot of my face and then like a brightening under my eye. How was everyone's Valentine's Day? Did you do anything? Did you stay home? Did you order in? Did you hang out with friends, families? Sniff gather. Like, what did you do? Like I said, I hung out with some friends. I went out to dinner. It was a good time. So we're looking a little dewy, a little fresh. My favorite powder to use when I'm out and stuff is the ColourPop No Filter Setting Powder. Like, I have been using this. Like, this is a fantastic powder. It's affordable, and it just looks so good on my face. And then I just take a giant fluffy brush. It's actually funny because this was like a giant fluffy brush that I got from Walmart, I think. I don't even remember what brand it was, but it was in their holiday like kits. And I don't remember what YouTuber I was watching, but they did like a, like a, is it worth it or something? I don't really remember. But if you're new to my channel, I like to do these Walmart holiday makeup kits. They're always like a uh, beauty runway or I don't know, but they're like 10, 20 bucks. You get a, a full face of makeup. And it's funny because like to me, they remind me of like kids makeup, but some of the products are actually kind of good. And <laughs> it's actually pretty funny because I will have people comment on those videos and be like, wow, you're being really harsh or oh my gosh, you're being so mean, like, you know, all sorts of stuff. And it's like, it's not even drugstore makeup. It's in my opinion, below drugstore because it's so low end and just so cheap. I don't know. People are sensitive. But then of course I'm using my butter bronzer. This is my all time favorite bronzer in the entire world. I love this shade. Some people don't like the scent. I like the scent. And again, I'm just gonna take a giant fluffy brush. It's like 10 out of 10 for this bronzer. I adore it. Cute, moving on. Now because I knew I was going to a slightly fancier restaurant. I was doing a little bit more like mature grown up type of outfit. I didn't want to do like my normal super pink and like over the top blush. I use this ColourPop blush in shade Chase, Chase. I don't know, this one. But it is this gorgeous like peachy shade and I just thought it'd just be so good and I quite enjoyed it. Don't get me wrong, I like a nice pink blush. But sometimes it's nice to just a little bit peach, a little bit more natural. Now highlighter is one of my favorite products ever. And I used this ColourPop Super Shock, this Super Shock Cheek Highlighter in Pearlized. It is just like unbelievably good. Oh, just like bam, look at that. It's so good. Now I will say for the look I wanted to go for, it was a little intense. So I'll show you. I mean, it's not like a hack or a trick. Cause I mean, probably everybody's done this. 
in all honesty. But it's just so good. Take my little beauty blender and dab it. Just a hint, but still so good. Okay, next is my eye look that I did. I did actually prime my eyes, which I have been extremely, extremely bad and lazy about, but I'm using my MAC Paint Pot in Painterly, and I mean, this is just such a great primer, and it sits so nicely. It's my favorite. I didn't ever use to use eyeshadow primer, but in all honesty, there are some eyeshadow products, brands, formulas, whatever you want to say, that they just perform better with a primer. And I'm okay with that because I want them to do the best they can also. Now, like I said in my last Valentine's Day look that I did, I, or one of them, I don't remember which one at all, honestly, because filming those every single day was kind of a lot. But I wanted to do something more natural with a hint of, like, pinks and reds. So, first things first, I pulled out my bare necessities. I, uh, this palette, like, first of all, like, just perfect. Love this palette. 10 out of 10. Love this palette. It is a little big, but not anything bad at all. So if I remember correctly, I'm going to try to recreate it exactly the same. I think what I did first was took a little bit of In The Buff, which is this pale shade up here, and I put that all over my eye first, from what I remember. And I'm not saying remember as in, like, I was drunk doing my makeup or anything, but it's just, I kind of just do, like, in the moment makeup more than anything. And then I think I took a little bit of Hustler, which is this, like, orangey, peachy shade over here. But yeah, I just do kind of, like, my makeup in the moment, and unless it's something that, like, I want to remember and, like, for sure recreate or anything, I don't remember exactly what I did. So, like, for instance, if I ever wanted to cre recreate one of my looks, like, a picture that I've taken, try to recreate it and I can never remember. But if I, like, do a video on it. It's actually pretty nice and helpful because then I can go back to that video and just remember exactly what products I used. Perfect. And then I remember taking some brown. I think I took, I mixed two browns together. I think I mixed this top shade over here, which is banter, with this shade over here, which is hot gossip. That's what I think I did anyways, and I deepened up my crease a little bit. I didn't go too ham though. Next, what I think I did, I don't even know what brushes I used, so I don't know what ones actually are like clean or matched. But I think what I did was took a little bit of Crack On, I think? Which is like this chocolatey brown over here, I think. I don't remember. Oh, I messed that up. This was definitely not the brush that I used, and I don't think this was the shade either. I need a close-up mirror. I mean, I don't hate this look, but I don't think this is what I did. It's safe to say I have other makeup videos I have planned that I really want to do. I cannot do them until I clean these brushes. I have too many brushes that are stained red. It's not even funny. Or pink, but like not even funny. Yeah, I mean that'll work. That's not bad. But what I know for a fact I did is I took this Stila Hot Pink Glitter and oh, first of all, this is phenomenal. But I took this and just started smacking it on. It is so good. I think this might be drying out a bit though. Or is it just like almost empty already? I can't quite tell. Okay, now that I have all that pink, I took a little bit of that peachy shade mixed with a hint of one of the browns. I don't remember which one it was. Let's do the warmer one. And then just kind of blended that edge. But here's where it gets real fun and funky and fresh because I took what shade was it? I think it was, I think it was the talk, which is this shade here. It's like a um, pinky, peachy, but like metallic. And I put this on the inner part of my eye just to brighten it up and blend these two together, which I'm living for. Cause it makes it, it has that pop of pink for Valentine's day, but it also is like so neutral and like, not like bam in your face which I'm totally fine with being bam in your face, but just didn't really go with my look. And then, I haven't really been into my lower lash line. However, I did take a little bit of this Idle Hour, which is this shade up here, and did that in my inner corner and brow bone. And I think it may very well be a super shock, 
but it is so good. Yes. Mm. Yes. Then I took some Fake Awake, and this is by Tarte, right? Yeah, Tarte. This is just a very nice neutrally eyeliner. It literally does like it says. It makes your eyes seem brighter and more open. Just a little bit. Yes. And then to tie the whole look together, I've been using this L'Oreal Paris. This is the Air Volume Mega Mascara. I think I've seen this on TikTok. I can't remember exactly why I bought this, but I got this recently. I quite enjoy this. This is just in, isn't this black as black? Pretty sure. I don't know. It doesn't have the name on here. Just how much a mascara can like change an entire look. The one thing I will say about this mascara is normally I don't like something this liquidy. I like something a little bit drier. So I'm hoping then the next couple weeks this will dry out a little bit. And then I'll maybe like it a little bit more. I mean, I love what it does to my lashes. It's just a little too liquidy for my normal taste. Now, here's where things get spicy. I took this MAC lipstick. This is in shade Work, Work, Work. I don't do red very often, but I was feeling spicy because it was Valentine's Day and I had this particular outfit on, which go check out my Instagram and you'll see. Oh, where's my mirror? Like... So in person, it looks a little bit more ruddy purple, and like not as like neon corally as the camera, but this was my look from Valentine's Day, fully recreated. And yeah, I'm kind of living for this. Now I can't remember if that's exactly what I did with my eyes or not. And my pores look a little bit more pory than they did on Valentine's Day, but we have the like brown with a little bit of pop of pinky gold in the center and then the pink glitter yeah i quite enjoyed this look and i thought i looked so good and yeah so i know that this is being uploaded late and i'm sorry i still wanted to do it because i quite enjoyed this look and i think that i would really like to start wearing more darker lipsticks and more more reds because like i'm pretty into this right now but that's all I've got for this video. Stay tuned. We have a whole calendar kind of planned out of, of videos I would like to do and create. And I'm always open to any other ideas though you'd like to see. So at any time, don't hesitate to go ahead and comment down below whatever ideas you want to see. But yeah, tons of ideas to come. So subscribe if you have not. Turn on that bell. You're not going to want to miss more videos that are being uploaded like if you like this type of content or like i said comment down below what type of content you would like to see but thank you so much for watching all my socials are linked down below till next time guys